Hello YouTube, this is part 3 of my Hitman contract, so let's play on the PC, and this is a mission, the Bjarkov Bomb. Uh, this mission is probably one of my uh, least uh, liked missions. I don't know why, I just don't like it very much, and if you ever try this mission on Professional, it will give you a really hard time. <laughs> Seriously, you don't get any saves on Professional, and this is a really long mission. Um, this alongside the Buildingford Manor gave me a lot of, uh, well, agony when I was trying to do it on professional. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is get this guy here. Uh, just knock him out. Uh, or I Actually, I don't suggest you knock him out. Just skip the video there. Uh, you should choke him with your fiber wire or shoot him because if you knock him out, you usually wakes up so <laughs> it's it's not really helpful but uh, now you can see we just well I'm just running over to this building uh, this is where the first guy you want to kill is um, this is I think something fucks I can't remember his name but that's the first guy we want to kill uh, that's he's just in the other room there we can talk to uh, the I'm chef for Yurishka. Welcome to uh, that's quite useful because he gives us a hint, so uh, that can be quite useful. Alright, yeah, he's a helpful guy, and we want to pour the laxative in the soup. This comes to great use in a couple of minutes, as you're going to find out, because this is the way I've chose to do this mission. There are one or two ways you can kill this guy, and... This is the easier one in my opinion. Um, so we just want to go here, wait in the corner of the toilet behind the door, and then get your fiber wire out. Right, I've just skipped it forwards. Uh, he's coming to the toilet now because he's drank. Oh, he's drank the soup which had the laxative in. Therefore, he needs the toilet. But. Uh, be careful not to alert him like I've just done. You want to get him before he sits on the toilet. Otherwise, you're going to cause some problems if you don't kill him quick enough because he has a gun on him. Alright, uh, just take his clothes. You don't need to move his body because nobody else comes in here. So, the toilet is a safe place to hide his body. And uh, for this guy, we just follow him. Basically, he shows us the way we need to go. Um, this guy's quite helpful, but if you've never done this mission before, then he's helpful. But if you've done it before and you know what to do, he's quite annoying because he walks really slow. Sometimes stops and looks at you for some reason, and those two things just make him annoying. So uh, I think I don't. I've never actually. Well, I can't remember trying to run off from him, but uh, if you do, I don't know whether he shoots you or not. Someone please say that in the comments. Uh, he might shoot us if we try and run away. So I I'll just follow him. Otherwise, I might ruin this playthrough on the mission. Um, so, something I want to talk about is... The Hitman series as a whole. So far, I've made walkthroughs of Hitman 1, Hitman 3, which is this, and Hitman Blood Money, which is the fourth one. However, Hitman 2 and 5 are missing. Hitman 2 Silent Assassin and Hitman Absolution. So, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do a playthrough of Hitman Absolution because it's on PS3. And the quality will be crap because I've not got a proper cat device but um hitman 2 i could do uh i'll, I'll look into doing it I, I played around with it a couple of days ago and it's a lot harder than i remember i think i have to get in the style to play the game really so yeah <laughs> I'll, I'll i'll look into doing a let's play of that one but it is a good game it's one of my favorite ones apart from the annoying artificial intelligence or non-playable characters whatever you want to call them 
Uh, we're just on the train here, me and my friend. Uh, he's looking rather asleep and dull there. I wonder if... Uh, no, no, I don't want to shoot him here. <laughs> uh, this is... We just want to stand on here, really. There's another guy. Watch him go by. And yeah, this is quite cool. So once we're off here, we want to head over to the ship where the general is, or whatever he is. Commander Bajarkov, that's it. We want to go over to his ship, and from there we can assassinate him, because he's another target. He's the final target. And then, following that, all we need to do is uh, plant the bombs and blow up the submarine. And that's mission complete. But... You can probably see why this mission's really long. I mean, the first part alone, which is uh, to kill the yellow guy who I, whose clothes I'm wearing right now, and get to the ship, that takes about six minutes. That's not really short, so uh, that's that's quite a long time. I mean, that's. Uh, put right up because of that escort thing there where I had to follow the guy but apart from that I think it would be quite a quick mission but keep in mind this mission's a big map so there's a lot of running around to do uh, I actually know that this isn't the believe it or not this isn't the biggest mission in a hitman game oh yeah there look guards now looking for a suspicious civilian that means the guy woke up who I sedated at the start of the mission. That's why it's ideal to kill him any way you want. Otherwise, you can probably ruin the mission. I think that's why I get seen later on, because they suspect me. Uh, but, yeah, before you go on this ship, you want to make sure you uh, put down all your weapons. That's because they frisk you upon the ship, and go I don't, right I, in, Mr. Fox. we are not going to be going out the front you. door, so we're not going to get them Thanks, back soldier. if we keep them and Second door get on right. frisked. So, uh, yeah, just ditch them where I put them down and enter the ship. There's 47 looking quite warm in his uh, stolen clothes. <laughs> So this guy's just a Stand the procedure, sir. Stand still. I understand. And on this level, there's even more guys who. They're not really an obstacle because they just frisk me, as I was uh, saying earlier. <clears throat> just let him frisk me. And then he's let me go back uh, past to see the commander, which is a good thing. <laughs> and here he is, uh, looking quite warm, I would say. And if you notice, there's no dialogue so yet. <laughs> 47 must be quite um, surprised, when at the same time on edge, because this whole thing could go to crap if he spoke. Actually, no, because it, I don't know if they know each other. I can't remember. Alright, to kill this guy, when he pours the drinks, just get your fiber wire out and... Just find it there. And choke him. Yeah, that's how it's done, people. And um, we can just leave him there. Nobody comes in because it's a private room. And this is what I mean by the frisk thing. We want to be going out this door here, um, and if we went out the front door, we wouldn't get our weapons back, which would be a waste, because, um, they're still useful. Mm, right, just go out the ship. As you can see, I'm out now. Uh, now I just want to get my weapons back and then head over to the submarine, where I will plant... Uh, three bombs and blow it up. 
Right, out of um, out of all of the Hitman games, I'd say Contract is one of the best. Mission-wise, I wouldn't I wouldn't say so, but the way the stealth is, the balance, I'd say that's all really, really well done. I mean, Hitman 2, that was way too strict. You could not move around without being seen, which kind of ruined the game. Whereas this stepped up quite a lot by giving you a lot more freedom to sneak places and things to do. By that I mean ways to do mission. Uh, I'm just gonna... Right, so this... What is it? It's a radiation suit. Uh, you want to put that on and then... I shouldn't have ran around there. You just need to ditch your weapons in here. Put them down. Because we get frisked again. And a civilian with guns probably will raise a lot of attention if I get uh, found. And this bit's really weird. How did that thing end up like that? What is this? Yeah, it's a submarine. That's so weird. <laughs> and just cut across there. And that will lead you to the submarine. Right, this is a... Actually, I don't know. I can't remember if I get fri frisked. I'll just check. Uh, no, I don't think I do. I'll just go on. They would have stopped me by now. Yeah, I'll I'll just go on. I've not played this mission in so long. I don't like it very much. But uh, anyway, to get the bombs, you just want to go on the sh uh, not the ship, the uh, submarine. <laughs> uh, go here, past all those guys, and get the bombs. They're all there, all three of them. So that's quite convenient, I would say. And then, just make your way off the ship. There's, there's nothing else on the ship. Apart from the bombs and probably disguises, which is pointless. Uh, it's useless. And yeah, this guy, you really, really want to kill him. And Unless you time it right and you're quick, you can get away with not killing him, but... He's on a patrol route where he comes backwards and forwards and he can see you planting the bombs which can set the whole mission in the wrong direction if he sees you. So that's why it's the best. Well, that's why it's better to kill him. Or sedate him, whatever you want to do. And all the bombs, they're just around here so if you are looking for them, you can just run past. Uh, that's all the bombs placed. Now we just want to get out of uh, the area. Just make your way around. And this is where the mission can go haywire if you didn't kill this guy because he can see you. That's why I said you need to time it right if you don't kill him. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> I'm just gonna take his clothes because uh, I think I get past more people in them. And that's basically uh, the mission over. All you need to do is blow the ship up and escape, which is um, the easy bit, obviously. So with that in mind, stick around for part 4, which is my most hated mission, the building for the manor. It's also a very fun mission, <laughs> the way I do it, which makes quite an interesting video. So stick around, it'll be in a playlist on my channel, on the front page most likely, on my, yeah, definitely in a playlist on my front page. So if you like this, please subscribe, comment, like, uh, favourite, whatever. 
helps. It, it, it helps, you know. Um, and if you need help with anything, just ask because I've played all the Hitman games countless times, therefore I know them quite well. So, uh, with that in mind, thanks for watching, and the video's only got a couple more uh, seconds, well, not a couple, but a few more s seconds left, so it's not long. But yeah, I'll wrap it up here. Thanks for watching, and stick around for the next part. Bye.